Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, which actually feels like a Monday because we just had Labor Day yesterday. If you see my eye twitching at all during this vlog, it's been going on for like two weeks. It's fine. But today is so nice because it's the first day in probably two weeks, over two weeks, that I've actually done my morning routine and like it has become so integral to like me having stable mental health and you know over the last couple weeks my mom was in town and then i got covid and then just like bleh, everything was falling apart and i mean the last like month of my life has been truly like i mean hell after losing layla that was literally a month ago today and so many of you are so sweet and are still asking like how i'm doing and um okay i mean it's i'm just really sad uh, i just don't really show it a lot but yeah i mean i think about it all the time i'm just trying to put one foot in front of the other so anyways it just feels so good to like have some normalcy in my life again and feel like things have slowed down for a bit and just yeah get back into my regular routine it's just really important especially for like my adhd like it really helps me a lot with that just to have a routine so it felt nice and now i'm gonna take a shower and today's gonna be an editing day so a lot of just kind of lounging so i wanted to like get some steps in beforehand today is also the day that one of my books comes out which i had pre-ordered on my kindle so i'm very excited to dive into that even though i started a new book last night i guess i can read two books at one time but um yeah we'll talk about that later that's gonna be fun that's the things that i get excited about as a 35 year old so i'm gonna drink the rest of my smoothie which is a little bit different um i bought a chocolate and a vanilla protein powder like two separate ones and i used up the chocolate which is my favorite i had never tried the vanilla and i just don't like it at all by itself so i've been mixing some of drew's like chocolate pb2 powder in it and it's i'm just not like a peanut butter smoothie gal but like it's fine I'm gonna get through it. So this smoothie is like my go-to, but just sub the two powders that I used for the one chocolate protein powder. And then it's like, well, it tastes like a chocolate milkshake, but this is still good and I'm gonna enjoy it. I've been talking for too long. Let's go take a shower. All right, I was just finishing up getting ready and I remembered that I bought these things that I had seen quite a few people recommend. They seem pretty hyped right now and they're like a sort of like temporary false lash but they go under the lash line and if you remember if you've been watching me i had been using these sweetheart by flutter habit and i mean i've definitely used them a lot but it's like a commitment like it takes me a good probably 20 to 30 minutes to put them on every time and i mean i use them especially when i'm traveling like i'll bring a little backup pair just in case and like some more glue because it's just nice to not have to do your eye makeup every day when you're like on the go but these are like an everyday one and there's no glue they literally supposedly just stick on your lash line or under your lash line i guess so here's what they look like it comes with like a little applicator and it says right here that it's got a pre-bond on it and that you don't need glue so we're gonna try it out i might just do like a couple on my outer corner we'll see so it says just pick a cluster Place it underneath your natural lashes and then squeeze it with your natural lashes together to like secure. And it says they last for 24 hours. I'll be the judge of that. So yeah, all right, let's do it. Oh, okay, I see. And then it says right here too, I got the voluminous ones by the way. I think these were like the second to most dramatic. It says right here that there's medium and long. So you can choose like which ones you want on your inner corner and which ones you want on your outer corner. I'm just doing outer, so I'll do a couple long ones. So here, is what it looks like. So it's just got the little bond on it. I need a little mirror. Oh, that's pretty easy actually. And then I'm just gonna do this. Get right up in there. Secure it with my natural lashes. Honestly, that's on there. Like that seems pretty good. Number two. Oh, it really honestly just like stuck right on there. I'm gonna just secure it in place. Squeeze it. Should I do one more? I mean, we're already at it. We might as well. I'll try one of the medium ones. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That is so cute. I actually really like that a lot. Okay, we're gonna do the other eye. I'm glad I went with the third one. I feel like you could, if you had like an eyeliner or something else, you'd probably get away with doing like one or two on the outer corner, but this is cute. Just thought I would try them out. I think they're pretty good. We'll see if I keep using them though. Oh, those repressed on ones? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe if I stand here. Oh wow. Do they look good? Or no. do they look fake? No. Let me see. 
They look nice. Thanks. Really easy to put on. Yeah, really easy. I was trying to find a spot with like decent lighting, but suddenly it's like super, super cloudy today, which I'm not mad about, but I just wish it would rain. Like I want, if it's gonna be cloudy, I just want it to rain. But anyways, this is what they're looking like. I honestly think they look really good. Like. I'm really impressed. I did just sit on the couch for like the last hour watching TikToks and Instagram stories and all of that, but um, that's okay. Drew was standing over there by the window. Oh, <laughs> he's waving at me through this window. Hi. He was watching me through the window. Anyway, he was standing over at this window earlier because someone got pulled over right in front of our house. And if there's one thing that Drew is gonna do, it is be the nosy neighbor. And he needs to know what's happening at all times. The second someone raises their voice, he's running over to the window. He knows what everyone drives. He goes, our neighbor ordered Chipotle and it's 10.50 in the morning. <laughs> and I was like, well, I mean, to each their own, I suppose. <laughs> He usually orders Taco Bell breakfast, so he was in the mood for something different. But anyways, I have so much editing to do, so I am going to prop myself up in my little editing corner here. I have my little tunnel in case Moo wants to join me and lay underneath with me, and that's gonna be me for the next several hours. Also, real quick, I am wearing a new dress that I got from Urban Outfitters. Look how cute this is. It's like a little baby doll dress and it's gingham and it's like a blue and brown kind of and it's just so cute and comfy. And I was gonna wear just like a lounge outfit and then I was like, I mean, I could just lounge in this dress because it's essentially like pajamas anyways. And I mean, would I style it with these slippers? No, probably not, but I'm in the house. I literally have to turn this light on. It is so dark in here, but I did just go into my fall storage little thing under my bed because I was like I want to wear a sweater like it's become cloudy and kind of cozy weather so um that's what we're gonna do this I got from Aerie last year I believe and it's like so warm and cozy so that's what I'm gonna be doing cozying up on the couch editing my videos wearing my cute little sweater and my dress and maybe the sun will come out later but that's what we're gonna be up to so Catch you on the flip side. All right, it's lunchtime now. It's actually after two o'clock, so it's a little later than I would like for it to be, but we have some delicious looking, like look how red these are. Some Campari tomatoes from Trader Joe's. There's this little gem lettuce that's like so adorable and perfect for sandwiches. It's, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just like baby romaine. Oh yeah, it's burnt. Well, no, it's like actually black. I mean, some people like it like that. Sorry about that. Babe, it's fine. It'll be fine. Never burnt bacon in my life. You burnt it with love. Indeed. I'm gonna chop up this other, the rest of this little head of lettuce and make myself a little side salad. There we go. I'm gonna do these little tiny baby cucumbers. They're literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, we're gonna do some cucumbers. And then I have this big old chunk of chicken. It was like a pre- Whole fucking cooked. chicken. <laughs> it's, it's massive. Some people might think that that's good, but that's about two minutes too done for me. I was just doing too many things at once. Can you taste it a lot? Mm. No, it's just kind of like salty. Maybe a little bit. It's okay. All right, we're gonna do some bacon some mayo. You have to do cutie mayo, obviously, even though it's gotten quite floppy. Then we're gonna do some thin tomatoes. I'm gonna find the like thinnest ones, maybe that many. And then I'm gonna do flaky salt. And pepper on those. We'll do the lettuce, then the tomato. If my avocados were ripe, I probably would have smashed some avocado on the actual tortilla and like seasoned it and stuff, but this will do. Look how cute. Don't come for me for not having a lot of tomatoes, okay? Beautiful. Got my side salad, do some berries on the side. Then in my salad, I'm gonna do my tried and true faves. I don't actually have any crispy parmesan or croutons, which I would prefer because I like a good crunch, but this is really just like a side salad. So we're gonna do some pistachios and some craisins, and then if I can find some kind of cheese. <laughs> will I eat all of this? Probably not, but Drew will eat my chips. I'm more focused on this and this, so. I actually think it turned out okay. Let me take a bite of the burnt bacon and I will let you know. It's fine. It tastes way less burnt than it looks, so. That's good. Today's spicy water of the day is Trader Joe's raspberry lime. Delish. Before I go back to work, I was like, oh, I got a package and it's 
this cute little brand called Find Me Now, I think is what they're called. I'm pretty sure they're like a small business or like a sustainable business or something, but I get ads from them all the time on Instagram. And most of the ads I get are like companies like that. And um, I've seen a couple other people wear some pieces from them. And so I decided to get a couple things from their sample sale because stuff was like really discounted. This first piece is like a little bolero, is that what it's called? It's like a set, so it comes with this cute tube top, and I don't know if you can see, but it's like lacy and really pretty. I couldn't decide if I wanted this color or the brown one, but I decided to go with black because it goes with everything. And then there's like a little shrug thingy that you wear with it. Obviously, it just kind of goes over your shoulders. And then look at these ties along the side, like the bows. I thought this with like a little maxi skirt or even a mini skirt would be so, so cute. This wasn't part of the sample sale. I just really, really wanted it. And I had had my eye on it for a while. So that's very exciting. And then I got two more things. This is, I don't remember how much it was. I know that it was like severely discounted though. And it's like this cute little knit tank top. It's a size extra large slash double XL. It doesn't look like that it looks like a medium when i'm looking at it so we'll see but like so cute just very kind of like retro with the wavy pattern and the colors and stuff and then the last thing i'm so excited about this this came in a set but i decided i just liked the top and i liked the idea better of wearing it with like a black mini skirt instead of the matching mini skirt but look at this top it is so cute it has these little like i don't know polka dots or little ovals and it's like a little almost kind of like a cardigan type of thing and it has these cute wooden buttons uh i'm obsessed this is so cute this is gonna be so fun for fall this one and then this black one are gonna be really fun for like fall and winter and then i mean i can listen it's still very much gonna be summertime here and i was more thinking about this for like the end of this summer and then next summer as well of course i'm excited for my three new pieces how adorable okay now it's time to go back to work. Nothing better than a clean kitchen right before you go to bed. Like honestly, the best feeling ever. It is much later now, it's like close to 9 p.m. And here is, I mean, ignore my face makeup because all I wore today was this like say slip tint with some powder and concealer. So like, it's definitely not long wearing. So ignore the rest of my makeup. But here is what the lashes look like after what, 12 hours? I will say this one little outer corner, I might not have like secured it well enough um so it does sort of feel like it's not the sturdiest thing in the entire world but um honestly these are pretty good like if you're in a pinch i obviously probably wouldn't wear them every day but if you're just like i don't know going to an event or it's just like another form of lashes but just so much easier than like a strip lash and gluing it on and stuff so i can honestly say i like give it my stamp of approval and they're still looking pretty good. So I figured before I get in bed and start my new book, which I'm very excited about, I would show you like the process of taking them off. Cause I mean, I have no idea what this is gonna be like. So we are gonna find out together. So apparently you're able to just pull them right off. So let's see. They're really on there, but okay, there you go. There's one. They are very sticky. Like they're still sticking to my finger. Like, are you able to reuse these? Probably not, but it's so nice cause there's no glue. Ow. I think that one did pull one of my eyelashes out, but I think that was just me not being gentle. This one, I feel like it's gonna come off so easily. Honestly, these are not bad. Like I'm, I'm pretty much convinced. I'll link these down in the description box below in case you wanna check them out. I already posted them on Instagram today and so many of you DM'd me saying you're gonna buy them. So hopefully you like them as much as I did, but like they looked really good. I guess we can do a little nighttime skincare routine. So we're gonna do this milk makeup, hydro ungrip makeup removing cleansing balm. This stuff's great. I wanna say I did this like one time before. I don't think I like did my full skincare routine, but I definitely remember filming a vlogmas video and I was like drunk doing this. I feel like I used to feel so much more comfortable sharing like a funny silly side and then I think I just after a while started letting stuff get to me like people's opinions and oh don't do that don't say that like every time I would do something or show a bit of my personality I think over time that just kind of like whittled down a little bit but I am like truly feeling back in my unhinged era and like I don't care. 
Oh my god, this is a look. Um, the good thing about this particular like cleansing balm is that you can, first of all, it doesn't hurt my eyes. And second of all, you can just rinse it off with water so you don't need like a washcloth or anything. So I'm gonna like rinse it off with some water and then wash my face. We're gonna do, I lost the pump for this, but we're gonna do a little bit of my Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser by Youth to the People. I love this. I am dripping everywhere, but these scrunchy things are honestly so clutch for washing your face. I mean, the water's like all over the sink, but at least it's not on my arms, you know? Oh, that feels so good. Drew's in here brushing his teeth now, <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like just like, I don't know, lately I've looked back at old vlogs and been like, whoa, I was so different. And like, I've grown a lot as a person and I'm so appreciative for that. And I feel like as time goes on, I just want to continue becoming a better version of myself. But I do think that I really miss, like I, the feeling that I get whenever I watch old vlogs is just like, damn, I really miss like how I used to be. Like I used to just be carefree and not so concerned with everyone's opinion about every little thing. And I've just been trying to let go of that. And I think I've talked about this in the past. I'm sure I have, but I do think that, I don't know. I, I got a couple comments on like a couple recent vlogs being like, I love this vlog. It felt like kind of old school or just really wholesome and like cozy and just real life. And I think I just need to focus a little bit more on that and just staying true to myself. And like, there are gonna be people that you encounter online day in and day out in your life that like you don't agree with it or at least don't agree with every single little thing and there's definitely gonna be some things where you're like oh i wouldn't do that or i wouldn't say that or i wouldn't wear my hair like that or whatever but that's the beauty of it is that like we're all different and i am guilty of that too like i have just been trying to have so much more of an open mind and being like why do i feel like that's cringe like is that cringe because it's a problem with me yes it is that is the problem. So anyways, I'm in my unhinged, cringy, authentic era and I'm happy about it. Finishing up my nightly skincare routine, I always use this Grande Lash every night before I go to bed and it is expensive, I think it's $60, but this has totally changed my lashes. Excuse me, I just burped. You're not able to really tell by like looking at me right now because I look like a naked mole hat, but I have blonde eyelashes so they're kind of hard to see and this has completely like doubled the length of them. It's literally crazy, so I use it every night, so okay. Let's change into our PJs and get reading. I'm so excited. Uh, we're in bed, chilling, ready to read. Sound machine is on, skylight thingy is on. I bought one of these, or maybe Drew bought it in the pandemic, in like the peak of 2020. You got it for me for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Oh, Christmas 2020. And like everybody was using them. And honestly, it still hits. Like we literally use it every single night. And yes, I am wearing the same pajamas that I wore last night. I do sometimes wear my pajamas two nights in a row because unless I like sweat in them, it's fine. I just slept, you know? Anyways, the book that I am starting tonight just came out today. This is the series. It's by Lucy Score. The first book is Things We Never Got Over. The second book is Things We Hide From The Light. And now this is Things We Left Behind. So I won't give any spoilers, but it's a kind of like small town in Virginia, I think, story where this person ends up in a small town and there's this like you know grumpy hot guy that lives there whatever he has a brother they like hate each other they have like this feud blah 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 and then it's just kind of like a grumpy sunshine trope which is i learned that from tiktok i guess that's like a common trope in a lot of books um and then the second book is about the brother and like his significant other in their story and then now this third book is about their best friend who has been in both of the books and he's kind of this like shady character and it's like who is he so mysterious and he has this like ongoing beef with the librarian i don't know they like grew up next door to each other and they like hate each other drew's laughing at me there are parts of it that are so so corny there was one night you remember the one, the the what they say to each other yes there was one night where i was reading it and like i was facing this way drew was facing the other way i think we were both reading and i was like i have to i have to vent i'm physically sweating under the covers like i'm sweating because it's so uncomfortable the way they're like oh yeah big guy i don't know how that like oh yeah hot shot well let me tell you something and it's just like oh my god who talks like that i'm so sorry to the author um and i think it just goes along with the story but it can be so corny there's definitely some spice all that said i genuinely fucking love it like i'm so excited that this third book came out so here we are we're gonna open it this is book three of three anywho 
that's gonna be the rest of my night i mean it's already like nine something so i'll probably read for like another 30 minutes and go to bed but thanks for hanging out with me today i appreciate it hopefully even though this was like mostly a stay-at-home vlog it was still you know slightly entertaining for you i got reading to do so we will see you next time bye